Hi Leslie, um, this is just a quick tutorial video on how to use Google Analytics. So you should have your login details for Google Analytics um, and when you log in you'll see a screen like this which probably won't make an awful lot of sense to you. Um, so what I'm going to just show you is how to pull out some basic statistics about your website. We can see it's your site by um, the information up here um, which has got your site name on it to tell us that we're looking at the stats for your site. So your main menu down the left hand side here has got all the bits and pieces that you're going to need. The first one to look at is the audience and if you hit the overview um, and that will give us an overview of your traffic and hits. Um, it does that for a small period of time which isn't always very useful. Um, so what you can do is, is you can click in the calendar and then choose a much longer period of time. So if we go back to the 1st of August right up to yesterday's date. Um, and then that will pull up our stats over a lot longer time. Obviously this is when we launched the website, so there's no stats before that. Um, a lot of hits on the first day we went live, a few spikes of um, activity here, um, and in general you've had 221 users so far. Some of them have come back more than once, so that's why you've got 270 sessions. That could be me and you um, visiting the site again to have a look at it. Um, so those people have viewed a total of 545 pages, um, an average of just um, two pages a session. They're spending an average of 1 minute 35 seconds on the site. Um, so that pulls off some basic statistics for you. It's still very early days of your site. Um, it really does take a good three months for Google to, to find and rank a new site properly. Um, so I'd anticipate seeing a, a bit of an increase in um, hits um, in general in the next sort of month really. Um, but yeah, that gives you an idea of how you can log in and just get an overview of how it's performing. Other things that you can look at um, is the location of where your traffic is coming from. Um, so it tells you basically from mostly from the United Kingdom. Um, you can go into that um, and then it will give you the regions um, and probably more useful than that is the cities. It gives you an idea of most of your traffic being for, from sort of the London area. Um, not set is people that have turned off Google Analytics or using private browsing, so there's no stats for those to tell you where they are. And then you've got Ipswich, Norwich, Lowestoft. Um, if you want to see more in this list, this is giving us the top 10. Um, you can go up to the top 50 or, or beyond and have a good look at where your traffic is coming from. These are where your visitors are based. Um, so yeah, it gives you an overview then, puts a little dots in the map to tell you where your traffic is coming from. Um, other things that you can look at and is your acquisition of where the traffic is actually coming from. Are they coming from Google? Are they finding you direct? Um, so you've got some information here about that. 158 people found you directly by putting in your address in their bar. So they've either seen a, a flyer, um, some packaging or something with your web address on and, and they've gone and put their address into the bar. Organically searching via Google through social media channels and through referrals, links on other websites. And again, you can click each one of these, for example, social media, and it will tell you a bit more. So 24 of your social media visits have been via Facebook. Um, and again, you could then look at your referrals to find out where the links to your sites are. Um, and it will tell you down here, Screen Suffolk, my website, and a couple of random ones in there. So that's just links to your site on other people's websites. Um, you don't get an awful lot in the organic search. Half of the stats are hidden, um, so you won't find that particularly useful. Um, basically, if you want to know a lot more about that, you need to sign up to Google Ads, and that unlocks a lot more stats about where your traffic's coming from. Um, so that doesn't give you an awful lot of information there. Um, other thing you can do is look at the behavior um, to find out which pages people are looking at. Um, so again, you can have a look at the full list of your pages. So your most visited page at the moment is your home page, which is obviously pretty um, standard. Other special effects is your next most visited page. Bruise gels, blood, where to buy, back to the home page, the contact page. Um, these are just random images, so you can do everything from there. Other special effects. Um, so yeah, basically it's telling you that at the moment your home page is the most popular and your other special effects page is the second most popular and then your bruise gels. It gives you an idea of what people are looking at. And again, in the following months, as time goes by and you have more hits and more traffic, we'll get a lot more statistics about 
how people have found you and what they are looking at. But I hope that helps for now. You can watch this video back again, obviously. Um, it's just to literally give you some quick pointers of how you can find out about your traffic um, and find out about information about how they found you and what they're actually looking at. Um, but that's a good introduction to, to Google Analytics. Um, thanks for watching.